Hi and welcome to Let's Play Lord of Ultima. Um, I haven't really started this game, even though it says I already have all game uh, open. I haven't even started playing yet. Maybe I clicked on something, and yeah, took a take a look. I actually I'm totally new to this game, everything. Uh, so let's open up a new game. Oh, so it's categorized in different worlds. I'm USA West Coast, I guess. That one says 38. So let's do 35. Alright, yeah, let's start. Tip of the day The harbor allows the transport of resources between cities and also enables you to trade with other players on different continents. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm, laggy. Uh. Greetings, you have been chosen to rule over the land of Saladonia. Show your skill and unite our fractured land. You have I have been asked to aid you where I can. Oh rhymes. <laughs> uh first let's view mighty domain. Click and hold left mouse while on the map to move around. You can use arrow keys to do this. I'm probably gonna use the arrow keys to do this. Um, the town hall is located in the center of your city. The city is restricted by a wall. Your key resources, wood, stone, and iron can be found in and around your city. Got it. If you wish to rename your city, please select town hall and enter the new name at the bottom of the menu on the left. Yeah, sure. Got it. Uh, to build a woodcutter's hut, left click on a building site, either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal to some woods. Um, I guess over here, maybe. Uh, okay. Uh, left click on the building site. Ah, okay, it's over here. Woodcutter's hut. Uh, can I build it? Build. Whoa, jeez, look at that. Artwork. Level 1 builds but take a little time to create. Notice the wood you produce per hour has now increased. Oh, look, it's over here. I didn't even notice all this stuff. Wood, stone, I think that's iron. Mm. Uh, food. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, continue. And if you constructed your first building, it's worth your effort to give you 100 wood for my personal stores. Wow, rich. Sense. You can normally construct multiple buildings of the same type. Build another two with each other's huts. Remember to build them close to wood to increase their productivity. Alright. So, blah, blah. Here, I think. Woodcutter's hut. Uh, build it. Yay. Now I have to build another one. So, how about... Well, they're grouped together. Maybe it's more efficient. Uh, let's build it here. Woodcutter's hut. Again. We get so much wood. Yes. Yes, see? I, I built it. Oh, maybe I have to wait a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's just brief overview. Looks pretty nice, too. Oh, look. There's a chat. Wow. Didn't even know that. Oh, you can normally convert to... Okay, let's continue. Good, a ruler can be have, never have enough wood. Please, I might offer 100 wood and 100 stone. Wow, really is rich. Uh, okay, sure, thanks. Now what? Okay, build the cottage beside the woodcutter's hut. Manpower supplies by slime cottages. Increase the overall construction speed and productivity of nearby buildings such as woodcutter's huts. Um, oh, dang. Yeah, let's build it there. Yeah, cottage. Increase construction stone. Build. Ding, ding, ding. I like the graphics. They're so good. Everything moves. Everything's smoking and stuff. Yeah, it's really quite good. Let's look at that. Okay, the okay. city information section on the left now shows construction speed has increased four percent due to your humble new cottage. Okay, 104. Wow. It's over 100. Well done. 
Wow, I'm really getting a lot of reward, but I think everybody gets all this stuff. Unless they sk skip the tutorial. Warehouse increased storage capacity for all four resources. Order one. Construct it anywhere that takes your fancy. Well, let's move around and take a look. Oh, to keep pressing the button. There's the outside wall you can see in the front door. Yes. Well, I can't probably print. Um, let's build the warehouse somewhere out of the way. Uh, here I guess. Yeah, I should build it there. Select that and build a warehouse. Increase the storage capacity. Take 60 wood and. Wow, this capacity is a lot. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm already halfway through my time. I just noticed that. Uh, okay, let's while that building, let's just take a quick survey of our property. It's walled and everything. And there's a bunch of stone places and lake and uh, some iron and the forest area. And oh wait, uh, behold! Storage capacity for each resource has increased by two thousand five hundred units. Resource tooltips also display your current storage capacity. Good. Excellent. Uh, wow, lots more stuff. The town hall level determines on how many buildings can be built in a city. Select the town hall and press upgrade to level two. Are you sure? Alright, uh, upgrade to level 2. Left of your screen, your building queue shows how many buildings can still be constructed. Building queue? Where is that? Um, I'm lost. <laughs> building queue, building queue. Well, there must be somebody here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll find it somewhere. Downgrades. Uh, oh well. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Excellent, now the level 2 can support up to 20 buildings. New building plans have been unlocked. You have arranged 250 wood to be delivered to your stores. Again, more stuff. Oh, sh. Uh, for the quarry, besides stone, grows. the larger the better. Well, let's build one here, just because it's so almost surrounded by stone. Quarry, or quarry, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, let's build it. Just like a crane. I wonder how they got that in these medieval times. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, there's a quarry. And more stones given to me. What next? Next, you should upgrade your city wall. Wow, I'm upgrading a lot of stuff right now. And I'm not sure if I need to, but tutorial tells me to. Upgrade your city wall. This needs. This will need stone. So, in your rule, you'll make contact with the cities. I think that's what the gates are for. See, there's like a wall here coming across 